Hi guys, my name is Tabitha. Today I'm going to be showing you the soil meter. This is a seven in one. Um, I just got this unpackaged and took a look over the instruction manual that they provide. And it does come with additional batteries and the little screwdriver that you need to take off the screw on the back to access those. It does take three of those small batteries, but you get basically two other sets. Um, so you should be good to go as far as batteries for a long time with this now this has a partial like digital display and the rest is this like analog style so on the meter side the top shows light and then below that is moisture and it's either dry regular or wet and then below that is pH it goes from an alkalinity of 8 down to an acidic 0 and then the bottom is the fertility and that ranges from little over to much now the digital display on the bottom that is telling you your humidity level and temperature so right now it's at 84.2 degrees fahrenheit out of the soil and 68 percent humidity so we are going to try this out in my little raised garden bed this is my first year doing one so i love to get to play with items like this and kind of see how things are going and maybe next year i can do things better and compare the results so we are going to put this in and to have the meter show you the desired light, moisture, pH, or fertility, you want to toggle this. So right now we're on light, so it's reading pretty dark, which makes sense because it's quite overcast right now and it's later in the evening. So let's go one over to moisture. And it didn't really move very much because it's pretty dry. Um, it has... It hasn't been watered other than like the rain that fell like two days ago. So let's go to fertility. Very little. I have not fertilized the garden. And pH. This is not moving on any of these. So here's what I'm going to do so we can give it a thorough test. I'm gonna go grab some alkaline water. So we're going to see how the wetness changes and we're gonna see how the pH reacts. Now you can leave this in the soil and keep it testing while you do things like water, while you do things like fertilize, and while you add things to change the pH of the soil. All right, so I have some alkaline water here and I have a pH tester just so I can show you guys that it is alkaline so it's definitely alkaline it's staying in the nines so let's pour this around the meter back here and we are going to see how it responds okay so let's set this over to moisture first okay so that should be on moisture and let's pour this in and see if we can get the second one from the top to go into the green. It's going up. There we go. So perfect there. Now let's see how the pH changed. So the pH is the one below the moisture. It brought the pH to about six and it brought moisture way up into, you know, that middle green range there. The temperature went down because of the water. Humidity went up, I think. So there you have it. That was a really fun test to do and just to get to see how it responded. I hope that was helpful. So if you were looking for a soil meter, either for yourself or to gift someone, this is a really great choice, you guys. I would definitely give it a try.